Welcome to a go. Today we're going to be talking about acrylic, lucite, and proprietary eponym. So let's get into it. So what's the difference between acrylic and lucite? Find out, let's go to the internet. We'll begin by getting a little scientific and talk about acrylic. Acrylic, any of a broad array of synthetic resins and fibers that are based on derivatives of acrylic and methacrylic acid. There are acrylics made into soft contact lenses, local lens used in water clarification, rubber products, and the one we'll be focusing on in this video is the acrylic plastic. What is the chemical formula for acrylic? The chemical name for acrylic is polymethyl methacrylate and is commonly known as PMMA. So let's go ahead and look up polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA. PMMA is a synthetic polymer derived from methyl methacrylate. It is used as an engineering plastic and it is a transparent thermoplastic. It's also known as acrylic or acrylic glass. PMMA is a strong, tough, and lightweight material. It has a density less of that of glass. It's actually half the weight of glass. So it's a lot lighter alternative than using glass. It also has good impact strength, higher than both glass and polystyrene. It transmits 92% of visible light and only gives a reflection about 4% from other surfaces due to its reflective index. The Futuro house was made of fiberglass reinforced polyester plastic, polyester polyurethane, and polymethyl methylacrate. Oh, I butchered that one again. To keep it short and sweet, PMMA. Some of its many applications are rear headlights and instrument clusters for vehicles, appliances, and lenses for glasses. PMMA in the form of sheets affords to shatter resistant panels for building windows, skylights, bulletproof security barriers, signs and displays, sanitary wear, LCD screens, and so on. And don't forget furniture and decor. An interesting fact, PMMA under the brand name Lucite was used for the ceiling of the Houston Astrodome where I grew up. Say what? Lucite is a brand name of acrylic? I've even heard someone on YouTube say that Lucite is heavier than acrylic. So what's going on here? I wonder if there's any other acrylic products that have different brand names. Let's keep researching. Well, I'll continue looking here on Wikipedia. It was at the top of the article. It says here that there are many trade names for acrylic. Uh, Crylux, Hasolite, Plexiglass, Acrylite, Lucite, and Perspex. Uh, there's a whole list at the bottom of this article. So why is Lucite used as a common noun instead of a proper noun as it should be? So let's look to see how acrylic and the word lucite are used in other, on another website. I was on a website looking at acrylic and I found some kind of interesting information. And some of it leaves me a little confused. Let's look at it. So I found this one website, Plastic Ranger, that asks what is acrylic plastic. Acrylic plastic, also known by many names like PMMA, polymethyl methacrylate, plexiglass, plexiglass, okay. One plexiglass has one S and one has two, but they're both capitalized. It is a transparent thermoplastic material known by its chemical name, plexiglass. And I thought polymethyl methacrylate was the chemical name for plexiglass. That's very interesting. I found another website that seems to clear it up. And this is a website by Glass Doctor. It says, what is plexiglass? And it says, acrylic is a transparent petroleum-based Thermoplastic product often manufactured in sheets as a lightweight and shatter resistant alternative to glass. Sometimes plexiglass is referred to as acrylic glass because it's a glass like substance. To get more specific, acrylic is a synthetic polymer of methyl methacrylate, a plastic. It was developed in 1928 in several different laboratories by many different scientists around the same time. You might be intrigued to know that acrylic sheeting is commonly referred to as plexiglass with two S's, but plexiglass, capital P, one S, is a trademark, registered trademark from 1933. There are a handful of other branded versions as well that you may have heard of, such as Lucite and Crylux. So this clears it up quite a bit. You saw on the other website, it used plexiglass written both ways as capitalized, as brand names, and that just clearly isn't the case. Okay, now let's look at the definition. This is from dictionary.com, Lucite, trademark, a transparent or translucent plastic, any of a class of methyl methacrylate ester polymers. Okay, it says it's a trademark, but then it says it's a plastic. I wonder why it doesn't say acrylic. 
Okay, let's look at how they used it in sentences. She climbed up to the stage in her lucite heels, wearing a bright red kimono with her name sewn onto the back. He got a black he got a block of lucite a foot square on the end by two and a half feet long out of a closet under the chart table. When I got back to the office, I thought I'd just turn on the lucite and see what they might be up to next. Both were dressed in what looked like workmen's overalls made of lucite chain mail or knitted glowworms. I find that very odd. The definition says it's a trademark, and then in all the examples of the sentence, they use lucite with a capital L, but are using it as a common noun. Whatever you do, don't use this dictionary. And check out this scientific journal. Toward a better thermal scattering law, in elastic neutron scattering in Oclimax Plus in Joy 2016. Abstract. With the advancements in technology, both experimental and computational, the determination of the true experimental phenom phenom spectrum became more accessible. In this work, a methodology for producing thermal scattering libraries from the experimental data for lucite is discussed. Hmm, lucite with a lowercase l. That's interesting. I'm coming from a scientific journal, but it does have the actual correct chemical formula for acrylic. Now check out this website. Vedantu looks like you can uh, take courses, classes, get a degree of some sort from this website. But I advise you to never do that. Um, this is a uh, this website must be done by an AI bot because it's it's just horrendous. Let's go through it and see what it says. I find it hilarious that it says, talk to our experts here above. Okay, what is Lucite Acrylic? Lucite is the trademark of PMMA and it's called British Perspex Plexiglass. So it's giving other trademark names. Lucite is a synthetic organic compound of very heavy molecules made by combining many simple molecules of methyl methacrylate okay, into long chains. Let's go down here, Lucite Acrylic. Why it is used as Lucite Sheets? Lucite panels, lucite glass, lucite plexiglass, and lucite crystal. Lucite acrylic has good resistance to shock and weathering, hence it is not affected much by weather such as summer. Okay, lucite acrylic. Okay, that that here they're talking about acrylic, but they're putting the uh, trademark name before acrylic, which acrylic and lucite is one and the same. So I'm not sure why they're saying the same thing twice, basically. And it has, it's all capital as here as well too in this. Furthermore, clear lucite, lucite capitalized is highly transparent and colorless, but can be rendered or tinted by adding other substances. In addition, an object made of PMMA displays the usual property of holding a light beam reflected with thin surfaces. Okay, they're talking about PMMA now, they're calling it acrylic, lucite. All objects made with lucite acrylic reflect light beams through the ends and edges of the things. So lucite acrylic is wonderfully turned into lucite crystals, lucite glass, lucite plexiglass, lucite panels. This goes on. Poor, poorly constructed sentences. Fun facts. Reasons to love lucite acrylic. Lucite is unpretentious, clear acrylic with 93% transparency rate. Okay, they're talking about acrylic. That's, that's a property of acrylic. Here it says it is a magical acrylic. Ooh. And it reflects the light beams on the edges and corners of the objects. Wow, magical acrylic. That, that's really a good explanation of what lucite is. It's not just acrylic, but it's a magical acrylic. Okay, let's further down here. How to identify if your object is made up of lucite or not? Answer, mostly lucite objects. Okay, you got L capitalized on lucite. Are left transparent and lucite jewelry is in different shapes, colors, and designs. Lucite capitalized again. There are no particular tests to check the lucite material. Okay, lucite with a lowercase l. But you can identify lucite with a capital L in various ways from the following tips. Okay. How is lucite used in the making of jewelry? Let's see. Answer. Lucite is generally colorless and you can obtain any color by adding other substances. And it also reflects light beams. It is mainly called costume jewelry. DuPont Company has made glass-like lucite crystal jewelry, and later on, this company licensed a jewelry-making trademark. Jewelry made with this acrylic can be opaque, translucent, or transparent. Acrylic lucite are highly in demand. 
And this thing is just all over the place. Okay, it's acrylic lucite with a small L. It's got a um, glass-like lucite with a small L. So it's using it as a common noun. What is the difference between lucite and plastic? As we have discussed that lucite is the brand name of a specific acrylic. Okay, a specific acrylic that is transparent and light and white. Plastic is semi-synthetic or synthetic polymer. We can say that lucite is another type of plastic called acrylic. Oh, they got it right. Lucite is a type of plastic called acrylic. It says another type of plastic called acrylic. Oh, that, I'm kind of confused on that. Lucite is denser and heavier as compared to plastic. So maybe that person online was referring to plastic versus acrylic. So maybe he was using the word lucite instead of acrylic, but was comparing it to plastic. Okay, got another website. Lucite versus acrylic. When to use each one, what to consider. At first I found it very believable, but let's read on and show you what well, doesn't quite make sense. Well, the terms are often used interchangeably. There are distinct differences between the two. And this article will explore the nuances of lucite versus acrylic and help you make an informed decision for your next project. Okay, so far they're using the lucite, they're using the lowercase l. Let's clarify the terminology. Both lucite and acrylic, again, lowercase, refer to a type of thermoplastic material. Lucite is actually a brand name for a type of acrylic. Well, acrylic is a broader term that encompasses a variety of different types of thermoplastics. Acrylic is made up of PMMA. Okay, define lucite. Lucite is a type of acrylic resin that is known for its clarity and transparency. It is a brand name that is often used interchangeably with the term acrylic, but technically refers to a specific type of acrylic resin that was developed by DuPont in the 1930s. Lucite is often used in the manufacturing of high-quality durable products, such as furniture, jewelry, and, and automotive parts. Lucite is a thermoplastic. Okay, so they're here saying that the chemical compounds are different. Acrylic versus lucite. Here's a little chart they made. Lucite versus acrylic comparison. Lucite, brand name for a specific type of acrylic resin. Acrylic, general term for a type of plastic derived from acrylic acid. Okay, lucite is a brand name and acrylic is a certain type of plastic. Lucite, known for its clarity and transparency. Acrylic, known for its clarity, strength, and durability. Lucite, highly resistant to impact. Acrylic, highly resistant to impact. Lucite, often used in the manufacture of high quality durable products. Acrylic, used in a wide range of industries from construction to healthcare. How to use lucite in a sentence. Lucite is a brand name for a type of acrylic. When using the word lucite in a sentence, and I'm assuming maybe the reason lucite is lowercase because it's referring to it as a word, not as a brand, even though it is a brand. It is important to make it clear that you are referring to a specific brand of acrylic rather than using it as a generic term for all transparent plastics. Here are some examples. I purchased a lucite coffee table for my living room. The lucite display case showcased the rare artifact beautifully. The artist used lucite to create a stunning sculpture. By using the word lucite in these sentences, it is clear that the speaker is referring to a specific brand of acrylic. That's far from the truth because they're all lowercase l. It does not clarify that it is a brand name. It's using it as a common noun. Saying that acrylic, that's what stumps me in this article because it's saying that lucite is an acrylic, but a different kind of acrylic versus other acrylics or other brands. But when it comes to this, that makes zero sense because it's not clear at all that it's actually referring to a brand name. Otherwise, it would say lucite acrylic. Okay, we're about to end this. There's a lot of articles and a lot of confusion. But in this same article, it says exercise one, fill in the blank. Fill in the blanks with the correct word lucite or acrylic to complete the sentence. The blank display case was perfect for showcasing the antique watch collection. The answer for them is lucite, the lucite display case. Two, I prefer to paint with blank because it dries faster than oil paint. Obviously, it's acrylic. The artist used blank to create a modern sculpture for the museum. Well, acrylic, you could use acrylic. It says acrylic, okay? My friend's new coffee table is made of blank and it looks very sleek. Here it says lucite, right, but it's, if you said it's acrylic, it's correct as well. Number five, the dentist used acrylic to create a temporary crown for my tooth. Obviously he didn't use lucite because lucite is a hard acrylic. It's not an acrylic that's soft and gets hard, but actually there are different lucite products and some of them are more like a resin. And talking about teeth, I just ran across this article on Lucite International's website. Unless you're closely involved with the dental sector, you may not know that acrylate polymers, PMMA, 
are essential in creating the very highest quality lasting solutions for dental procedures. For over 65 years, we have been working closely with global market leaders and academic and academic communities to build on our knowledge in the dental sector to develop leading edge acrylic polymers for dental applications. Products that include our PMMA include heat cure denture polymers, auto polymerized polymers, tooth polymers, specialist applications for crowns and bridges. I have a great idea. How would you forget the word acrylic and call everything lucite from now on? Well, this is exactly what's happening. It's been going on for a long time and is known as proprietary eponym or generic trademark. A proprietary eponym is a brand name or trademark of a successful product that has come into general use to refer to the generic class of object rather than a specific brand type without the exclusive rights to said product being lost by the parent company. I'm sure you can think of a lot of examples and Kleenex being one of them. Companies are always trying their best to have their names not fall to the depths of becoming generic trademarks. Velcro, for example, will not allow eBay sellers to use the word Velcro in their titles or the listing will be removed. Heck, I can't even type lowercase Velcro without the computer spell checking it or highlighting it as incorrect. So my question is, should we as sellers fall into the trap of using generalizations or should we try to represent the products we sell as knowledgeable and as accurate as we can? Let's give one example. Let's put it in the search engine. Lucite mid-century modern. Another term, mid-century modern, another term I'm not quite uh, hip on. But anyway, for another uh, video. Okay. Let's see here, images. Let's see what we have. Lucite acrylic starburst tissue holder. Here on eBay. We have a whole slew of things. On this chrome and clear lucite on first dibs oh yeah you can believe everything first dibs has on their website bent lucite mid-century modern large light fixture i have one similar to this might be identical let's see how about this lucite leg table how about that instead of going to the website i'll just click on the image Pair of mid-century modern lucite lamps. Look at these spun, spun acrylic. Mid-century modern retro acrylic ribbon globe floor lamp. Oh, it does say acrylic on this listing, even though I put in lucite. So that's interesting. See these little resin uh, acrylic candles. Mid-century modern clear red lucite candles loaded with gold confetti. So as you can see there, a lot of people are using the word lucite to replace the word acrylic. And how do these people know that their items are actually made from acrylic from the company lucite? I sure wish there was some database that would tell me all the items that were made from acrylic made by the company lucite. Sure would like to know. So if anyone has that database, you can send it to me as a PDF. I greatly appreciate it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be including a few of the links of some of the articles and websites that I read. So that way you can do your own research. If you did enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and share it with your friends and family. It'd be greatly appreciated. So thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time.